got it, and then I, I cut this profile out, and then I put them back on and cut this profile out. This is your guide right here. You lay your, you, I lay my hand right on top of it to guide the tool across, and then I'll just uh, trim all this wood right down the size you want it. You can get it to the, about the size of a toothpick if you want it that small. I'm putting snow on the trees. I started out putting the, like the, the, the needles of the pine trees, and then you have to leave, allow them for the snow to go on the trees. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing it upside down so I can see my tip so that I don't accidentally burn where I want the snow to be. All the waitresses every year get two or three things to do. I'll finish the pad up a little bit. I always like to, I always like to put a band on there. Now, I'm not thinking about painting yet. I, I, I hate painting. I don't paint things that often. I'll dip them in, uh, in wood conditioner and then finish and just let them dry and then I'll do a pen on the top of Okay, so we're getting that lower lip cut in. And here again, we, we want to be nice and soft looking. No harsh lines. Take off the excess. Get rid of her goatee. comes back down through through the arms down to the end of my fingers it has a whole different meaning. When you start making the nose, you come in the first thing we'll do is undercut right in here. And once you undercut it, you're through. You cannot repair it, change it, change your mind, what if you want it to look make it look different. Checking the profile. Because if it doesn't have a profile it, it's just a flat face, someone ran into a window and you can get hurt doing that. So you gotta have the side of the nose showing and the eye wrapping back around and you have some cheek in front. Because when I make a, a set of bird feet, I never know what bird they're gonna be for. I have one here that I soldered together before I came. I'm gonna take that apart. Oh, once I get those, those toes laid out, I use the stapler to staple the pieces down, hold them tight. I'm just kind of doing a little bit here and there, looking for the white area. And then I like to edge that with the yellow on these little guys because they're warm colors. 